But getting that federal relief money might not be easy, though President Trump promised yesterday it will get done. WBZ's John Keller is here to show us why this could be difficult. Well, Liam, when people talk about how bad the partisan gridlock in Washington has become, they often mention the bitter deliberations over aid to victims of Hurricane Sandy. Remember, in 2012, mm -hmm. dozens of Republicans, including many from Texas, just said no. We think you're going to have what you need and it's going to go fast. Texas but as a New York resident, when the New York, New Jersey coast was devastated by Sandy, the president surely knows that a quick federal financial bailout is no sure thing. Nearly every Texas Republican voted against the big Sandy aid bill, claiming it was stuffed with pork and fiscally irresponsible, a charge echoed by other GOP conservatives. We've got infrastructure damaged by Hurricane Sandy, and they simply want to print up more money and borrow it. People will stand up and say, oh, we've never offset emergency funding. Well, maybe that's why we've got a $16 trillion deficit. Republicans from the affected areas were outraged. To my colleagues who are from states who have had disasters, some rather recently, who have decided that we need to change the rules of the game, shame on you. And Congress will now take up Harvey relief amid a scramble to find money for tax cuts and to keep the government operating. Does this situation make you reconsider the, the possibility of a government shutdown? I think it has nothing to do with it, really. I think this is separate. This is but the president has really already very, very tied avoiding Again, that shutdown to. to congressional approval of his border wall. And the rhetoric of unity has been known to quickly dissolve in the crucible of Washington politics. The lesson to be learned is when people in any part of the country are in trouble, as one nation, we stand together. You're saying now is not the time we're tit for tat. No, it is not. So you are a yes vote. Well, you got to see the bill. He's got to see the bill. Sure. Now, now, look, financial help for the Harvey victims could go smoothly, but it could also run afoul of the Republican insistence on budget balancing. That's the stance that helped kill Obamacare reform. So the GOP majority may well face a tough choice, sticking with their fiscally conservative philosophy or standing by the victims in Texas. Tough one. We'll keep it